today's video is looking at the practical steps to make a successful fee waiver application. Those of you who have made applications for limited leave to remain, either as family members or on private life basis, will no doubt be aware of how expensive the fee can be. It's not only the home office fee, but also the immigration health surcharge. The two combined is over £2,600 for an application for two and a half years. And that is for each applicant. So if you have a family of more than one, then clearly this is going to be very expensive for anybody. The test for a successful application is whether or not you can afford the fees. There are also requirements for people who are destitute or potentially destitute. They all fall within the affordability test. And for the Home Office to determine whether you can afford the fees, they will have to look at your financial circumstances. And the financial circumstances that they look at includes any income, and income can be any support from family members or friends. So even if you do not have status in the UK, it's very likely that you have somewhere to sleep, food to eat, and water to drink. And those are the things that they want to know. So if somebody is supporting you, you need to get evidence from them. You need to get your pay slips and bank statements. You need to also get a letter from them to confirm that they are supporting you and they are providing you with accommodation. It's very significant that within the body of the letter, they state that their support for you is only temporary until you are able to go and work for yourself. It's also essential that when you're gathering the evidence, they must be able to annotate their bank statement to explain monies that were taken for you. If somebody is providing you with accommodation, then the easiest thing to do is to provide the evidence of the accommodation, which would be a tenancy agreement or a mortgage account, and some letter to confirm that you live with them. When it comes to the test of affordability, the Home Office will consider all assets available to you, both here and in your home country. So when you ask the question whether you have any assets in your country, it is to determine whether you will be able to dispose of the asset to pay for your immigration fees. Let us all be mindful that when it comes to making this application, candor and truth is what the Home Office is looking for. So if you have bank accounts, you must disclose each and every one of them. They will know if you've hidden a bank statement because they have access to your credit file. Those people who may have disposed of income or intentionally disposed of funds because they wanted their accounts to be empty, also be mindful that this will be found out. And that is why today's practical steps is to let you know that even if you're working and you're making you know, some significant amount of money, it is the SX income every month that will be considered. SX income is your expenditure, which will be accommodation, food, grooming, clothing, travel, utilities, loan, TV license, mobile phone, which is taken out of your income, which will be assessed. So for example, if somebody is earning 2,000 pounds and their rent and other utilities and food is more than 1,800, then it will take them at least over a year to save the 2,000 600 plus. That is if it's a single person who's making the application. So the fact that you're working does not mean that you will not qualify for fee waiver. The important thing is that if you cannot afford the fee, then you ought to make the application. The fee waiver application is for two main applications. It's for applications under the Human Rights Act, either family life or private life and also for children who are under 18 who are making application for British citizenship. The fee for British citizenship is 1,012. Just bear in mind that although it's a child who is making the application, it's the adult that the child lives with whose income will be assessed. So be mindful that your bank statement will be requested for. My advice is to annotate the bank statement and any unusual credits or debits on the bank statement is explained. You can use an Excel spreadsheet or maybe a Word document to explain this. I hope this is helpful to you.